That takes us over to the SEC championship game. So we got Georgia and Alabama. We can talk all day about different storylines, etc. But what we're talking about here is these team totals. Uh, the total on the game is 49 and a half. It is Georgia 28 for their team total, Alabama 21 and a half. And I, I'll go ahead and tell you up front, my play on this is Alabama under 21 and a half. I think it actually opened at like Alabama 24 for their team total, and it's been bit, uh, been bet down quite a bit. I still think under 21 and a half is the way to go. This is an Alabama team that scored 10 points and, well, scored three points for 59 and a half minutes against Auburn. They scored uh, 20 points total against LSU. They, this is not a great Alabama offense, and when you get them off course, the way that Georgia's defensive line and linebackers can, they're going to bring blitzes from everywhere. I don't think Bryce Young's going to have time to throw. I don't expect them to have success going up and down the field. I, I think the under 21 and a half is the play for me. Uh, 100%. That is the play. So the, the 28 for Georgia, I'm not touching because I could see them landing directly on that. But I just don't think Alabama's going to score much this weekend. Georgia still looks at themselves as the underdog against Alabama until they beat them. Doesn't matter what the numbers say. Like, <laughs> they still think that they are the underdogs here. So we're both riding Alabama under 21 and a half. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.